What's up? I'm Alex, your entrepreneur. And today, Strapi just released their version beta 0.20, which includes the media library. So I thought I'd give you a quick show of it. Also, make sure to register for their event on the Thursday, 23rd of April, in which they will guide you through the latest release. So go on their website. I'll make sure to leave a link in the description as well and go check out the official live stream. That said, uh, basically, uh, this is an extension of the Upload plugin, which uh, uh, will actually be renamed to Media Library, at least when it, goes, when it comes to the plugin section. Your endpoints in roles and permission are still the same. If you go to roles and permission public, you still see upload and uh, you can still do all you want. The difference is here in the plugins, you'll see media library. And whenever you upload a file, you're going to see this nice interface. You're going to be able to upload an asset and you can upload more than one, by the way. But anyway, you're going to be able to upload your assets and what happens the second you upload them is that they will get optimized. You're also going to be able to change the file name, the alternative text, the caption, and you can crop them. But most importantly, they're going to be optimized for you by using a library called Sharp and uh, automatically Stripe, uh, Strapi will also generate uh, different sizes. So I've sent a couple of um, small pictures. Now I'll send a bigger one. This should be big enough. And this picture here, the Alex picture, will be not only optimized, and uh, we see a 622 kilobyte size uh, versus, let's see. So it looks like it's the same size in this case. And then uh, we're also gonna have alternative sizes that are gonna be cropped uh, on our behalf. So if I go on Postman and I make a get request to slash upload slash files, which I've already made public by the way, and I make a get request, we see the IDs and we see all of these uh, key called these key called formats that will contain uh, the alternative sizes and the alternative versions. So if I go to my Alex version, my Alex picture here, it's uh, it's gonna keep the default size for the original one, but then the other ones will have a thumbnail size of 104 and 156. The other one, the large one with a 667 and a thousand, and then uh, we're gonna have a smaller version of medium and small. And uh, these variables here, uh, you can go in the in the plugin called Strapi plugin upload, which is basically in the package mon in the monorepo for Strapi, and you can look at how this is done. Basically, the second we receive the upload, uh, the image are uh, optimized for using a service called Generate Responsive Formats, which comes from Strapi plugins upload services image manipulation, and this image manipulation file will use Sharp. To optimize. So when we look at the thumbnail size, we see that it's limited by 245 pixels by 156. And so it's gonna fit these sizes. And instead, when it comes to the other breakpoints, the other sizes, which we saw here, we saw large, medium, and small, you're gonna see that their breakpoints are gonna be respectively 1,000, 750, and 500. So technically, if you wanna play around with the code, you may also change your own local version of the Strapi plugin. Uh, by changing the breakpoints, but I'm assuming that in the in, in a very new uh, patch, uh, they're going to allow us to customize the breakpoints uh, through some sort of global config or some sort of customization. Um, I'm also seeing a get settings call here, so th there already may be um, a possibility to customize these sizes. At this time, I don't know, uh, but as I said, uh, this is a new addition, the media library, which um, is a welcomed addition to Strapi, which is uh, at this point at the 20th release. And as I've mentioned before, I want you to join the, the Strapi team on Thursday, April 23rd, 5 p.m. CST, Central European time, for their official live stream in which they're going to introduce uh, these new features. So I'll see you there and have an amazing day.